Hi everyone, this is Chris and I'm a volunteer at the Hampstead Branch of Pender County Public Library. Today we are going to do a fun experiment that has to do with circles. Make sure you have permission from your parent or guardian to do this and have adult help and supervision as needed. Okay, let's get started. First you're going to need some plates. I have two different sized plates here in front of me. Or anything circular. Now what, else, what you're going to need is a piece of string that's very long and I would get some thread maybe will work. I just have this pretty long string here. And then you're also going to need some scissors. Okay, so first what I want you to do is take one of your plates. And here I have it in front of me right here. So I want you to take one of your plates and we're going to wrap the string around the plate, around the circumference of the plate. So here we go. Take this string and take this edge. And you're going to have to, it's a little bit hard to wrap it around the plate. So give it your best shot to try and keep it as tight as possible. So here we go. Here we go. Almost got it. And like that. Now you need to take your finger and kind of mark where you need to cut. So you're gonna cut right here. So I'm going to cut the string right there, just like that. And basically we're measuring the outside of the circle, which is called the circumference, as I said earlier. So I'm just going to cut the string. Okay, so now that we have the circumference measured out, we're going to try and measure that, use the string to measure the diameter which is from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle that passes through the center. So it's one straight line across your plate. So what I want you to do is I want you to try and measure as many diameters as possible with your string. So I'm lining up here, make sure it goes through the center, pinch here, and I'm going to cut. So we have one diameter and as you can tell this fits right across the circle. Now we're going to go again. Here we go. Got it measured out. And cut one more. So we have two diameters. One more time. I think we can get at least one more. So here we go. And look at that. We have three diameters cut from that one circumference and about, I would say, one seventh of this string. Pretty interesting, huh? Well, now we're going to take our other piece of string that I have here and we're going to try it on this different size plate. Now, keep in mind, these two plates are different in size. As you can see, this one. This blue plate is a little bit smaller than this white plate. So here we go. We're going to try it with this one now. And we're going to notice something interesting. So, one more time. Wrap it around. I'm going to cut right here. Be careful when using the scissors, too. So, this is our remaining stream. We won't need this. Here we go. So remember, go across, take your head of your string. And if your string is stretchy, unless you stretch it when measuring your circumference, make sure you don't stretch it when measuring your diameter. So here we go. One more time. So, as you notice, we cut three again somehow. One, two, three, and then another one-seventh, or 
one seventh of the circumference. Pretty interesting, huh? Now, why does this happen? Well, this is because in all circles, the relationship between the circumference, the outside of the circle, and the diameter, going from one side of the circle to the other through the center, they're in a specific ratio. And this is something we call pi, 3.14. And as we see, we have 1, 2, 3, 3, and then 1 seventh, which is equal to 0.14. That's where we get 3.14. So for any circle out there, no matter the size, the ratio between your circumference and the diameter will always be this number pi. And this is why we have such a special number called pi. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you come back next week for another fun experiment and stay safe. I got this experiment from exploratorium.edu. Thank you. Bye-bye.